Oh, <clears throat> Sunderland cabbie here. Well, I'm onto about my fourth pair of underpants now. With the old anxiety and stuff. But starting to settle a bit now, to be quite honest with you. What will be, will be. Um, I'm not going to do any predictions for the score to tonight because I'm just going to give the lads respect and just go out there and try your best lads because whatever happens, <clears throat> you've done us proud. You've done amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yes, it'd be disappointing if we lose tonight. But at the same time, you know, when the reality sinks in, we're still in the championship. The need a stand on ovation as if to say, well, thanks for keeping us in the championship and giving us such an entertaining um, season. But I'm sure we're all locked on the same vibes and the same feelings. We'll be nervous and be anxious and constantly going over our heads, ifs and buts and whats, and would we do this and would we do that and can we hold on? You know, there's nothing that can do to affect the scoreline. We just have to sit and wait and see. But, you know, it doesn't matter whereabouts in the world you are, the average general Sunland, genuine, uh, genuine Sunland fans, they feel it in the blood. Um, and every one of them, whatever how many millions of Sunland fans they are, we'll be sitting also at Kenilworth Road, right next to the pitch. We will be there in spirit and we'll be feeling every kick, every foul, every shot. Every misplaced pass, every corner, every throw-in, every sub, um, every horrific tackle, every bad um, decision, every good decision the ref does. Um, all, I'll be singing off the same song sheet tonight. Um, but, uh, it's kind of surreal. It seems to have come quick as well. It doesn't seem like two minutes ago like we played the first leg. Um, but we have to realise as well out of... You know, four good teams, only three. Three are going to go out, only one's going to make it. So there'll be three, you know, disappointed teams. Maybe it's not so much us, should I say, because we have punched above our weight like you wouldn't believe. You know, and it's, it could be a very exciting season next season if we stay in the Championship. It could be really, really exciting. As a matter of fact, I'm looking forward to it if we did, didn't did make it through the playoffs. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's not just us. There's three, like I said, three teams will not go through. Only there's only one winner. Uh, I know a lot of Sunderland fans are saying, "Is it right on the stars? It's in the stars that it's Sunderland Middlesbrough final." We'll just have to wait and see, and um, just be proud of the lads. Whatever happens tonight, um, I didn't really want to see any bad posts on social media like, "Oh, we were shite. What a fucking load of crap that was." Or that player this and that player that, because um, that team. Deserves like a, a just proper stand on ovation for, for what they've done. It's just it's just brilliant. Like I say, I, I ain't gonna do any predictions. Um, I'm just gonna say, lads, for what you've done so far, well done. And um, try your best. That's all. That's all you can do. I mean, look, on our day, when we pass the ball about, we can pass any any team in this division off the park. They cannot touch us. You know, if we can do what we can do on fire, we'll we'll demolish Luton tonight. If we can perform the way we do, the way we pass, and they can't get the ball, we'll demolish them. You know. And uh, let's just keep fingers crossed. But wherever you are, whether you're going to be behind the sofa, just um, enjoy it if you can, and uh, just say thanks to the lads. Whatever's happens after the game. See you later from. The Macam Cabby. Ta-ra.